and welcome to our Superheroes Holiday Club 2020 online. Woo! It is so great to have you here with us today. We are so excited about this week. My name is Emma and I work at St Thomas's Church in Lancaster with my friend Sarah, who it should be appearing any second, just here on top of my hand. Ta-da! It was nearly me twice. Hello, Sarah. How are you? Watching this, and it's going to be such a great week. Yes, it is. It's going to be a really fun week. So we usually have our holiday club this week in our church, where we have lots of fun activities. We have some zones where we have loads of um, challenges, and we have a chill out zone, and we have create like activities zones and then we also come together and we hear something about the wonderful incredible love of Jesus and how much God loves us and we spend some time worshiping God together so although we can't do that at church this week we are able to do it online which is fantastic and even better we've been able to invite lots of you from all over the country to join us so it's, if you don't know us and this is your first time in our holiday club a really big welcome to you it is so nice to have you here with us. Sarah, do you want to tell us a bit about what we're going to be doing this morning? Yeah, so as we go through this morning, there'll be lots of things for you to join in with at home. We can see you are already typing into the chat and that's great. We love to hear what you're thinking about, what we're getting up to. So there'll be songs and a memory verse to do at home. There'll be a game to watch. A bit later on, we're going to have a story from the Bible and a chance to think and pray about that together. We're going to be seeing some photos of you as superheroes at home and finding out what you'll be doing. And we're going to do that all through the week. So as you join in with different things, we'd love you to send some photos in. So every morning we can share some pictures of you guys at home for everyone to see. And it wouldn't be Holiday Club if we didn't get some leaders messy. So we will be doing that as well. So yes. this week we're going to be finding out all about the Holy Spirit and his amazing superpowers. We're going to be looking at some stories in the Bible from the book of Acts, and today we'll start with Pentecost. So, what a fantastic morning we've got lined up to you. We are going to be having some activities on our website afterwards. We are going to be able to do lots of things. We've got a craft zone, we've got a create zone, we've got a chill out zone, we've got a some ways in which you can explore the story. There is so much to do. In fact, Sarah, I'm getting a bit peckish and I haven't got anything to eat in this studio. Do you have anything? Well, I've got an apple, but that's here and you're there. So I'm not entirely sure how that's helpful. Can you try to just send me that apple? Let's give it a go. Are you ready? I'll count three. And you I'm need ready. To... One, two, three, catch. Ta -da! Ooh. Oh, awesome. Well done, me. Oh, so you do now have a mouthful of apples, so I guess maybe I should do the next bit. So every day, guys, we're going to be having a question of the day for you to have a think about, maybe talk to someone you're watching with or type in what you think on the chat alongside. And today's question of the day is, who is your favourite superhero and why? So, Sarah, which is who's your favourite superhero and why? I think I would probably have to pick Superman because flying does sound really cool. So I'll pick mm. Superman because he flies. That sounds good. How about you? Who's your favourite? Well, I've given this a lot of thought and I've decided that my favourite superhero is Spider-Man. And that is because I quite like the idea of having them webs that you can like fling onto buildings and then like you know go around like Tarzan swinging on him that sounds quite a lot of fun and also if there's a bad guy you can then catch him in your net as well so multi-purpose webs I so, can see you would enjoy that yeah I would really like that oh they look great so many of you already getting ready for superheroes online that's fantastic and we would love to see more photos of you as the week goes on 
yeah so do send anything in email us to our children at stteas.org.uk email that is on our website um, and do send us pictures in through the week of all the things that you've been getting up to as part of our superheroes holiday club so sarah you're gonna have to have a go at some of your superpowers now because i think you're gonna need some super speed because i believe you're going to be sharing our memory verse with us yeah, I have to disappear and reappear somewhere else. So are we ready? Three, two, one, I'll go. Right, let's see how quickly she can do that. Can she appear in super lightning speed? Let's see. Hi, superheroes. This week at Superheroes Online, we are challenging you to learn a verse from the Bible. It's from the New Testament, Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 and 20. And it says, Jesus said, show everyone how to follow me. I will be with you always. And we're challenging you to learn that verse because this is the work, one of the most important missions Jesus gave to us in the Bible, to show people just how much he loves them and to make sure they know they can choose to follow him too, if they want to. And we're also learning it because right now it is so important to remember that Jesus is with you and with me forever and ever, wherever we are. So let's learn it now. Bethany's going to come and be my helper. So I'm going to do a bit and then you can join in at home with Bethany with the words and the action. Are we all ready? Yeah? Okay. Jesus said, Jesus said, show everyone, show everyone, how to follow me. How to follow me. I will be with you always. I will be with you always. Great. Now stay here because we're going to do it all together. So children at home, you join in and we'll do it here in our house and we'll see how loudly we can say this verse together. Ready? Jesus, Jesus said, said, show everyone, everyone how, how to, to follow, follow me. me. I, I will, will be, be with, with you, you always. Well done. You can go and sit down now. Okay. That is called the Great Commission. And if you are in Key Stage 2 at school, why not look it up in a Bible at home or maybe a Bible online? Because we're learning a shorter version at the moment. So that's Matthew 28, 19 and 20. And if you're in Key Stage 2, why not look up the whole thing? We're going to be doing that every day as part of Superheroes Online. And maybe by the end of the week, you'll be able to do the whole thing without the words. That's a fantastic memory verse, isn't it? And so hopefully you've already this got an is. idea of it. And by the end of the week, you're going to be able to share, tell everybody all about it and show them the actions. And you could share the memory verse with them too. So today, our theme, as Sarah said, is all about Pentecost, where we're going to hear the story of when the Holy Spirit first came on the disciples. So we're going to sing a worship song together now called Supernatural. And we are going to have Sarah helping us with the actions. And we've got our fantastic bands are playing it. So you'll be able to sing along. So you need to get on your feet. You've got to give a bit of a shake around and get ready to do the actions and sing along with this song now. These are the days when you can see miracles and wonders everywhere. Here is my life, oh Lord, you can use me to show the world.
Great dancing, everybody. Good singing, too. That was fantastic to um, worship God together using that song. So we are going to spend time this morning worshipping God and hearing our story of Pentecost. But at our holiday clubs, we also like to challenge our leaders and get them a bit messy occasionally. And the, this year, we've managed to do that. It's not been an exception. So we're going to have our first challenge of the week, um, which is done by our other two members of our team, so that's Nick and Abby, and they have been challenged with the first challenge game of the week, which is how many pieces of rolled up paper, let me just show you, basically, I don't need this now, so this is waste paper, how many pieces of rolled up paper can they throw in a bin in 30 seconds? So let's see how they did. Okay, here we are with the balls in the bin challenge. Nick, I hope you're ready for this. Okay, here we go. Can we have a countdown, please? Three, two, one, go! Yay! Okay, that's two. Stop! Let's see how many I got. One, two, three, and four. Super. I'm happy with that. Oh, well, we just got to. There we go. Well, I think we can all see that Nick was the clear winner there. Well done, Nick. Fantastic. And Abby didn't do very well. Hmm. I wonder what we need to do about that. Maybe we'll have to have a think about that later on. So you could have a go at that challenge if you think you could do better than Nick and Abby, because you could maybe even do better than Nick. Um, or there's other challenges on our website, so you can have a go at our other challenges. And do send them in. Let us know how you got on. Send us a picture. Send us your scores. And we'd love to share them each day with um, Holiday Club Online to tell everybody how everybody's getting on. We've also got our chill out zone with lots of things if you want to relax this afternoon. And we've also got a craft zone. And one of the crafts that we're doing today is we're making some superhero decorations. So these are made with some um, salt dough, but you may not have some flour at home, but if you do have some, you could make these, or if you don't, you might have some Play-Doh, you might have some clay, so you might be able to find a way of adapting. So hopefully most of our crafts, you'll be able to adapt and do in any way you like. We've tried to make them so that anybody can have a go at home. So let's move on to our story today. And Nick is going to share the story of Pentecost with you all now. Hi everyone, I'm Nick. And it's time for today's Bible story. It's about what happened to Jesus' followers after he went up to heaven. It was the day of the Jewish festival of Pentecost and Jesus' followers were all together in one room. They had felt a bit lost since Jesus had gone up to heaven. He had done what was needed, choosing to die on the cross and return to life again so that all our wrongs could be forgiven. Now everyone who believed in him could have a place in heaven with him forever. They needed to tell everyone all about this amazing news. But how could they manage something so big without Jesus to guide them? Suddenly, they all heard an incredible sound. 
It was like a hurricane, rushing in and filling the whole room. Something that looked like small flames came down and rested on the head of each of them. The Holy Spirit of God filled each of them with an amazing superpower. They could now speak in all languages and knew they had to share the message of Jesus with the thousands gathered outside for the festival. These people were from nations all over the world and spoke many different languages. Yet when Jesus' followers spoke, they were all shocked as they heard about Jesus in their own language at once. It was a miracle. One follower named Peter stood up and reminded the crowd that over the years, God had made many special promises to the Jewish people. In these promises, God said that he would send a rescuer to save us all from our own wrongs that separate us from God. Peter declared that those promises had been fulfilled in Jesus and that anyone who chooses to follow Jesus can be with him in heaven forever. But what shall we do? the crowd asked. Peter replied, if you say sorry to God and commit to following Jesus, you can have the Holy Spirit too. About 3,000 people chose to follow Jesus that day and received God's Holy Spirit. Wow, thank you so much to Toby in Year 7 for producing that amazing video for Holiday Club. And in the story we saw about how even though Jesus had gone up to heaven, he hadn't left his followers on their own. God sent the Holy Spirit down to be with them. And the Holy Spirit was a bit like God's special helper. And straight away, God wanted them to go outside and tell everybody about the message of Jesus. But they didn't speak everyone's languages. There were so many languages everyone spoke. So the Holy Spirit gave them the power to speak any language all at once. So Peter went outside and told everybody about how Jesus had died for them. And that if they chose to follow him, they could have a place in heaven with him too. And they could also have the Holy Spirit to help them know how to live today. But the Holy Spirit wasn't just about miracles. It had another special power too. It helped the disciples to be more like Jesus, to have more patience, courage, kindness, love, and all of these things. And that message is still true today. If you choose to follow Jesus, it doesn't matter what you've done wrong, there's a place in heaven for you. And you can also have the Holy Spirit so that you can be more like Jesus. So we're going to hear now from someone who has a story about how the Holy Spirit has helped them do something amazing today. So a time when I experienced the Holy Spirit. When I was 14, I went on some summer camps and part of those summer camps was that we would learn more about God. One evening we were talking about the Holy Spirit and I asked if a good friend of mine would uh, pray with me about being filled with the Holy Spirit. As we were praying, I had my hands open and I felt a heat come, come over them. And I also had this amazing sense or feeling of knowing deep down that God loved me and that I was his child. Another thing that happened as part of that evening was that after um, we'd finished praying, I'd, I'd actually hurt my ankle quite badly during, uh, during that day and I could barely uh, hobble on it and uh, it was very extremely painful and after we finished praying I could uh, walk without any pain in that uh, in that ankle and it was just so, such an amazing uh, an amazing story and an amazing uh, feeling. Hello everybody my name is Anna and I'm going to be telling you about how I've experienced the Holy Spirit in my life. So most of the time for me, it's not really big or significant moments when I feel the Holy Spirit, but a lot of the time it's just little moments. Maybe that's when I'm at church or when I'm praying at home on my own or with my friends um, that I experience the Holy Spirit um, in my life. Um, so a lot of the time I might experience the Holy Spirit when I'm feeling all of a sudden I feel really, really peaceful and calm um, and all the things that I've been worrying about all of a sudden don't seem so big and scary and I'm reminded of how God, much God loves me um, and how powerful he is. And sometimes I'll experience the Holy Spirit um, when I remember all of a sudden how amazing God is um, and I want to worship him in a way that maybe I didn't want to before. Weren't they um, lo lovely, fantastic stories from Kieran and Anna. Thank you very much for sharing them with us. 
Did you notice something about those stories that when they experienced the Holy Spirit, they both experienced it, him as part of um, a time of prayer? Do you pray? Perhaps you pray every day. Perhaps you recognise um, the experiences that Kieran and Anna have had. Perhaps that's happened to you too. Or maybe you've never prayed before and you don't really know how to. We're going to pray in a minute, but I just thought I'd tell you a little bit about prayer. So what do you think about when I mention prayer? Do you think about uh, praying in church with a vicar praying in front of a few hundred people? Do you think about praying at great, saying grace at your dinner time? Do you think about praying at bedtime? These are all times when we often pray. But prayer can be done anytime and it can be done in lots of different places. So you can pray in church, you can pray at home, you could pray when you go on a walk or you could pray when you're riding your bike as long as you've got your eyes open. Um, you can do it anywhere and you can pray at any time of the day and you can pray on your own or with friends or you can pray as part of a, a big group of people like we do at church on a Sunday. So. You can pray with your eyes open, with your eyes closed. You can pray standing up, sitting down, lying down. You can talk out loud. You can think think your prayers in your head. Really, you can do any of these things because praying is simply listening and talking to God and spending time with him. So normally, quite often, we can get quite busy. We can get distracted. So even though the Holy Spirit is with us all the time, we maybe don't notice him because we're busy and we're distracted. So when we pray and we take that time just to sit and be with him, that's often a time when we would um, recognize that the Holy Spirit is with us more. And maybe we might, we might feel a peaceful feeling or a sense of joy like Anna and Kieran have described. So we're going to pray now. And if you've never prayed before and you're not really sure what to do and you're not very comfortable with that, that's fine. I've got three different prayers which you can choose and you can do at home in your in the space while we're going to have some music playing. So option one, if you have prayed pray every day and if you've experienced the Holy Spirit with you before, then perhaps you want to do that again now. And maybe just ask God if he has something that he wants to share with you. If you pray, but maybe you've not experienced that sense of the Holy Spirit and that feeling of peace, like Anna described, maybe you could pray and ask for that today. So maybe you just ask God to send his Holy Spirit to be with you and just see what happens. Or if you haven't ever prayed before and you don't feel very comfortable doing that, then perhaps this is your first time and that's fine. Why don't you just say hello to God? So just say Hello, God. Tell him about how you found this morning. Just talk to him, just like you talk to your friend or your family and just see how that goes as well. We're going to play a song. So when you finish praying um, at any time, you can join in with that song. So you just need to find a comfortable space and we're going to pray together now. So, Father God, thank you that you sent your Holy Spirit to be with us. Thank you for the story that we've heard today of Pentecost. When your Holy Spirit first came, we thank you that today you are still with us and we can spend time with you. How much joy we can bring to our King if you let us all see. Bring your praise, give him your heart, new and old, all together now. Bring your praise, give him your Everybody sing, everybody sing, everybody sing, everybody sing. How much joy we can bring to our King if we let ourselves sing. How much joy we can bring to our King if we let ourselves sing. Bring your praise, give Him your heart, young and old, all together now. Bring your praise, give Him your heart, young and old, all together now. In every 
everybody sing. Everybody sing. Everybody sing. Everybody sing. Everybody. Oh, everybody sing. Everybody sing. Amen. So, how have you enjoyed this morning so far? And what are the things that have been important to you from the story that you've heard today? Because we've heard our fantastic story about the Holy Spirit and we've spent some time praying with God. And it's so wonderful to spend time with God each day. So do do try praying again. If that's the first time you've ever prayed, do try, try having a go every day and you will see that God will do some incredible things in your life. So hopefully we'll have Sarah back. Hello. hello. Amy, brilliant. Yes. Hello. How have you enjoyed this morning? Oh, it has been so good, hasn't it? I've enjoyed all of it. Can I pick two top things? You two well Go I'm just then. gonna put it down to one so one thing that I have loved is sneaking through to the other room where my little girls are watching this and seeing some of the chat that's coming in on the side and we'll I'll maybe get to share a couple of those comments in a couple of minutes and just knowing that so many people are watching and then my other top thing I think has to be seeing Anna talking about the Holy Spirit because a long time ago, when I was a younger leader than I am now, Anna was a six-year-old in my group at Holiday Club. And it is so good for me as a leader to see that the Holy Spirit is still with her now she's all grown up. Just like the Holy Spirit is with Toby and with Bethany and with all of you children watching too. Yeah, and wasn't it fantastic, the stop motion animation that Toby did? Didn't he do a brilliant job? Thank you so much, Toby. It was amazing. We yes, that was fantastic. So, Sarah, do you want to share some of the feedback that you've got from this morning? Well, I think the feedback might be being run into me in just a second. So can I tell us about the website first? And then you hopefully the can. feedback will appear by the magic of Kieran in a second. Excellent. Yes, that's fine. <laughs> OK, so we're nearly at the end of our first show. But after a few more things, when we finish, there will be loads more things for you to do this afternoon on our website. So if you look under where the video is, where the, the text is, if you click on show more, there's a link to our website with loads of different things to do. So you can explore the story, you can do create zone, you can do challenge zone, you can do chill out zone. And in each of those different sections on our website, there's a short video from us as leaders. And there are some um, different things that you can read and download and print if you want to for loads of ideas of things you can do at home. We'd really love to see what you're getting up to. So please do keep sending us photos in. You can send them anytime you like. But at five o'clock this afternoon, we're going to be choosing from what we've got so far by then, by five o'clock, for what will go on the screen later on. OK, I have some feedback just been sent in. So um, lots of people saying how much they're enjoying it. Loads of different people um, saying about different uh, superheroes that they're enjoying. Lots of people commenting about the, the challenge and well done to Nick with that. Sarah Bradford said she likes Spider Girl best because she's a good role model for girls and not just about boys. So some of our leaders are watching and saying how amazing this is. It's great to see what's coming in on the side on the chat. That sounds great. I would love to have a look at some of that later. That's brilliant. So I'm so glad you've enjoyed it so far this morning. Um, and thank you, Sarah, for sharing all that. So I'm going to get ready because in a minute we're going in. Well, in a few minutes, we're going to be singing our superhero theme song. But Sarah is going to just let us know some final bits of information. Tell us what we need for tomorrow. And also, perhaps maybe we've got time for some other mess. But who knows? I don't know. There's no mess here. It's lovely and tidy. OK, we'll start again. <laughs> Technical difficulties, but we've managed so far, so I'm sure we'll be all right. Okay, so 
Let me tell you about our website. So we're nearly at the end of our first show, but there is loads and loads of stuff on the website that you can be having a look at later. Okay, so if you click on the link under the YouTube video, there's a link to go to under the show more tab that will take you straight to our website and there's loads of different things you can be doing this afternoon. So you can explore the story and do some more activities about our Bible story and think about what that means for your life. You can be doing create zone and challenge zone and chill out zone. There are things to make and things to do. Each of those areas has a video with one of us leaders giving you some ideas and there are things to read and print and have a look at as well on there. We'd really love to see what you're doing. So send us some photos, tell us what you're getting up to and we'll show some of them on the screen tomorrow. You can email us or send us photos anytime, that's totally fine. But at five o'clock this afternoon, we'll be choosing what we put on the screen tomorrow. So if you wanna be in it with a chance of getting on the screen tomorrow, send us your stuff before that. So tomorrow, you're gonna to need a paper flower for our prayers and a bowl. So if you go to the website again, on the Wednesday tab, you will see a document which has a paper flower on it that you can print, or it's a really easy shape you can draw, or you can even trace it by putting a piece of paper up against the screen. So tomorrow you'll need that paper flower already cut out, you'll need a bowl of water, and you'll need a pencil. And the bowl of water needs to be big enough for your flower shape to float on, or for all your flowers if you've got several people. Introduce you to the band. So on my right is Matthew. Say hello, Matthew. Hello. Matthew is our fabulous drummer. What have you enjoyed this morning? What's been the best bit? Probably the gunge. The gunge, always a fan of the gunge. And then this is James. Say hello, James, and what's your best bit? Uh, yeah, hello, I'm pretty good. Yeah, I quite like the story. Good, good. It was a good story, wasn't it? Did you like the stop motion animation? Yeah, I did. It was very good. Looking yeah. forward to the crafts as well. Looking forward to the crafts. Oh, are we going to do some of the challenges this afternoon, see how we do? I think we need to have a bit of a competition. I think we might need to see if our family can beat Nick and Abby with the bin challenge, but we'll have to see or have a look on the website to have a go at the challenge that Nick's done on there as well. Okay. Are you ready? I think I fixed everything. Uh, the problem is I have to play keyboards, change the words, and run the video system, and there's not enough of me. Yeah, that's quite a lot. How many people would normally do all those things? Uh, well, I don't know. Two, <laughs> at least. <laughs> right, this is going to be awesome now. From the top, Matthew, let's click us in. Proves it's live. Second time lucky. It's our theme song. Dash can run with super speed. Doctor Strange warps time. Inspector Gadget super arm shoot lasers or webs and slime. But don't worry if you can't shoot webs. Our springs can pop out of your legs. Cause we've got the power. It's super power. But no one else can be. We're gonna be super. Superman can fly so high, the Hulk has super strength. Elastigirl can stretch herself to reach the greatest lengths. But we have Jesus at our head, he's got the power to raise the dead. And we've got power, it's super power, but no one else can be. We're gonna be superheroes, living for the King. Son, Holy Spirit, me and God are gonna win it, yeah! Come on, second time round, we did it. So it proves it's life. 
and it gives them two options, two chances to learn the first verse. That was great. Okay, so let's finish our morning because we've come to the end of this morning, sadly. Let's just finish with a prayer. So thank you, God, for the fun that we've had this morning. Thank you for all the fun that we're going to have this afternoon. And we just thank you that your Holy Spirit is with us always. Amen. So have a great afternoon. Don't forget to check out our website. Don't forget to have lots of fun with all the activities we've got for you. And don't forget to send us in any pictures and any comments and any scores that you've done with the challenges this afternoon so that we can share them with everybody tomorrow. So we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.